Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how you can set up VPNs on your Chromebook. A VPN or virtual private network is a great way to securely browse the internet. With a VPN, your real IP or location is masked behind your VPN provider's IP fooling websites to think that you're browsing from a different location. This is particularly useful when you need to avoid censorship from governments, institutions, or even your internet service provider. But it's also a useful way of getting around geo-restricted content from streaming sites like Netflix or Disney+. Plus. All right, let's get into it. Let me show you how you can set up a VPN on your Chromebook. All right, so there are about three ways that you can set up a VPN on your Chromebook, and they include one, through an Android app that you can download from the Google Play Store. Two, you can use a Chrome extension. You can download from the Chrome Web Store and install it on your Chrome browser. And then three, you can use Chrome OS built-in system VPN client. Now, this last one is the hardest. All right, so let's start with uh, using an Android app. If you have the latest Chromebook, then you should have the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store has so far the largest number of VPN apps, both free and paid. The best VPNs are those that are paid for because they offer much faster speed, security, and privacy. Now, the best paid for VPN providers include ExpressVPN, NordVPN, Softshank, IPVanish, Private Internet Access, CyberGhost, NordVPN. Now, the other VPNs that have both paid and free version include Proton VPN, Winscribe, and Hotspot Shield VPN. All right, I have Winscribe VPN, and I'm just going to show you using that, okay? So, let's go to the Google Play Store and install Winscribe. Of course, I already have it installed here, but you can just go to the Google Play Store and then search for Winscribe, okay? Let's do that. Inscribe VPN. It's already here. I have it already installed on my Chromebook. So I'm just going to open it here. Okay. And with Winscribe, you don't really have to sign in or sign up with the free version. You can see I have 1GB free here and you don't need to uh, sign up. So just tap on that button right here. And in a few minutes, you should be connected to a specific location so for my case i have dallas french united states all right and the vpn is now connected and to just confirm that when you come to the system tray you should see here that it's connected to the dallas french and if you want to even confirm more you can just come and search for your ip address i'm just going to do that what's my ip Okay, that's my IP, but where does this IP belong? Let's see. Okay, it's right here. It's saying Deluxe Texas United States. And now my VPN is connected on my Chromebook and I can uh, browse securely. And if you want to find out your VPN details, go to settings here and under network, tap on vpn you should see a list of vpns that are connected on your chromebook you can see i have winscribe here connected and when i tap on it and under network section here i can see my ip address subnet gateway and also the name servers that are connected right and from here i can uh, disconnect the vpn if i choose to or i can just come to the app and disconnect the VPN. All right, so this is by far the easiest way to connect to a VPN on your Chromebook. Cool. Now, the second option is to connect to a VPN through a Chrome extension. Now, this second option is not, you don't have uh, protection across your entire operating system you only have protection through the browser not your entire Chromebook okay so again go to your VPN provider of choice and see if they have a Chrome extension so come to the web store here okay and I'm going to search for 
Winscribe and you have Winscribe VPN here. Item is disabled. I already installed it, but disabled it. So I'm just going to enable it. All right, and you can see the the Winscribe extension pops up here, and I could just tap on Get Started, and voila, I have one GB left. All you have to do is connect. Okay. Oh yeah. So again, what's my IP? Ah, nice. This time I'm connected through Istanbul. But with uh, uh, Winscribe, I believe you can choose the server location. I think location menu here, and you can choose basically which location you want to connect to, even with a free version, which is really awesome. So. I've changed my location to uh, Atlanta and if I search for my IP, I believe it's going to show um, from that location. So again, this option using the Chrome extension does not offer uh, the entire system protection. It only offers um, protection on the traffic that is um, browsed through your browser is encrypted, not your whole Chromebook. So that is really important to take note of. And this could be useful if you're streaming Netflix or Disney and you're using the uh, web version of the streaming service, or if you want to uh, browse uh, Facebook or Twitter, or whatever from a different location. Awesome. So when you're done, just come to the Chrome extension and then tap on that to disconnect. All right, the third option that you can use to connect a VPN on your Chromebook is through the built-in VPN client. You can connect to any VPN server through the built-in VPN client, but this requires a lot of technical knowledge and I don't think that most people have this. Right, so this method is worth it if you're connecting to your own VPN server or a corporate VPN network, such as one run by your school or organization. In this case, either your organization's IT system administrator will set it up for you, or if you have the technical skills, you can do it yourself. Okay, so to add a VPN connection through the Chromebooks VPN client, all you have to do is uh, come to settings and network here, and you can see VPN here under the VPN uh, option, tap on it, and then you can see built-in VPN. Now tap on this plus sign, and you have a form field here that you can fill in. You can uh, choose to name your VPN client, you can choose the protocol that you can use. The most popular is OpenVPN, but you also have uh, a layer to uh, TP or IPsec, which is right there. Then you have to specify the server host name or IP address, then a username and password. And then you have to enter things like the server uh, certificate authority and all these other details. And these are really technical. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on you know, how good you are. So I really wouldn't recommend this at all unless you're running your own VPN or you're connecting to a corporate network, it is either your company network or your school network, in which case somebody more technical could uh, guide you on how to set that up. So this has been how you can set up a VPN on your Chromebook. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you find value in this video, go ahead and give us a like and also subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.